Animal welfare groups claim unfit horses are being forced into South Australian jumps races. The claim follows the death of a horse after a fall at Morfordville yesterday, reigniting calls for the sport to be banned. Ten-year-old Geldine Trenchtown landed awkwardly after a jump yesterday. Jockey Clayton Douglas was thrown off. The horse seemed to be OK but had been injured and had to be euthanised. It's tragic but it's not surprising. Welfare groups say Trenchtown's race record should have triggered alarm bells. Report that he was scratch, a late scratching from Hamilton um, a few weeks ago. He had a very serious fall in Bendigo. He then raced in Gawler and lost the rider in Gawler, so there's been a number of occasions. The Bendigo fall last month was referred to a jumps review panel. Trenchtown was given vet clearances after all recent incidents, but animal welfare groups aren't satisfied at the level of scrutiny when considering if a horse is fit enough to jump. We'd like to hold discussions with the industry, um, perhaps um, go further than that to, to really get to the bottom of what's happened. Thoroughbred Racing SA defended stewards, saying the horse had all the proper clearances and Trenchtown's trainer Eric Musgrove has hit out at the criticism. Yeah, break down on a regular basis, not just in racing or jumps racing. There's so many more worthwhile things they could be doing. But critics say there have been enough raceful deaths to spell the end of the sport. Put a ban to it. It's what most South Australians want to see. Jared Brevy, Nine News.